on the back of Oasis and the big Ferrari with the dynamic pricing where tickets at 140, 150 quid were selling for three and four times that when uh, fans actually got through to Ticketmaster. Um, Peter Andre has been seen to be going the opposite way. He's is called less dynamic pricing. Where the Oasis tickets were about 150, Peter Andre has only started at 45 quid. But he was having so much trouble selling his seats, he's been given it, the price has just been dropping like a stone. He's even been known to be giving seats away recently for as little as one pound. True, folks, one pound. In his attempt to fill up halls and put as much money as he can in his pocket, the promoters have been selling tickets for as little as one pound. Unbelievable. Ulrika Jones has been in the news. She says she really, really was an alcoholic 20 or 30 years ago. That's how it developed. She was in a really bad way. A, a, a drink, a vice were lager and wine. She'd drink on her own, drink herself into a stupor and pass out with regularity. And friends intervened to say, Ulrika, you are becoming an alcoholic. At that, it shook her up. And she changed her ways, or at least to a great extent. Still likes to drink, but not as stupid anymore. News Today says that Eamon Hull was one of the big uh, reasons behind his split from uh, Ruth was his dislike of Schofield. They said he was always bitter about Schofield's success. He didn't like Schofield. He was regularly walking around the house with Ruth with a long face because of his dislike and blowing up. Anything to do with Schofield and the papers on the TV... Eamon would react and it would upset Ruth. He just couldn't let it lie. He couldn't let it lie at all. And many are saying that was one of the big things behind the breakup of his marriage. And lastly, comedian Kevin Hart. Now, I'm not that well versed on him. My lad knows him more than me. I've heard of him. I don't know him that well. Turns out he's been a very, very good friend to Pitt, Puff, Diddy, Daddy, Daddy over the last few years and attended many of his parties. And now he's doing his best to distance himself from Diddy, Daddy, Daddy. He's really, really worried that the authorities are going to come knocking on his door next and he might get caught up in the whole sex scandal. And that, folks, really is it. That's the showbiz news for today, as I can see it. I'm not at my best myself, neither, folks. I need to tidy myself up. I will do tomorrow. I don't feel well, folks. I've come back from a little holiday. I'm not feeling grand. I'm not feeling up to it, to be honest with you, but I thought I'd do what I can. A couple more messages, then I'm done. Tomorrow I'll get tidied up. I think things might look a little bit better. I might feel a little bit better. By, by the way, I hope you're all well. I just because I don't, I feel rough. I don't want it for you. I hope you're all well, and I'll catch you tomorrow. No worries. See you again.